I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Is the corrupt Judge Eileen Cannon in the Southern District of Florida taking orders from Donald Trump or Trump's lawyers outside of the courtroom? I would normally think that that is a pretty outlandish conspiracy theory. However, the truth may be closer to that than we would like to believe or that I would like to believe in my naivete. And the renowned lawyer Andrew Weissman pointed out that a very problematic legal maneuver, a very kind of unlawful move that Judge Eileen Cannon made on Monday in a new order that she issued, which we discussed here on the Midas Touch Network, sounded a lot like what one of Donald Trump's lawyers, former lawyer Jim Trusty, was saying on a show the prior evening on Fox. And when you analyze it, it's almost identical. So here's what went down. So Donald Trump's kind of lawyer or former lawyer, but the lawyer who represented Donald Trump before Judge Eileen Cannon in the other case where she unlawfully assumed jurisdiction and was overturned by the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals. Yeah, Jim Trusty, who was humiliated before the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals. Well, he went on the show Life Liberty Levin. That's the show hosted by Mark Levin. That's how Mark Levin talks. That's why I do that impression. He's like, he's the worst, Mark Levin. He does yells and talks like this. And so when Jim Trusty was on this, though, Jim Trusty stated that he believed, uh, again, without any basis, he's completely wrong on this, he believed that it was shenanigans, I think the term is, or he said it was improper that special counsel Jack Smith had a grand jury in Washington, D.C. that was taking evidence and investigating crimes of Donald Trump, but that the indicting grand jury um, was in the Southern District of Florida, and ultimately the grand jury that indicted was in the Southern District of Florida, which Mark Levin and Jim Trusty on this Fox show on Sunday night, the day before Judge Eileen Cannon's order, were basically saying someone needs to look into that. That's something that should be looked into. I'm going to play you that video in just a moment so you can actually see what Jim Trusty said. But first, let me show you Judge Eileen Cannon's order. And it was, it should have been a fairly routine order that she issued. Special counsel Jack Smith asked for what's called a Garcia hearing to address unwaivable conflicts of interest and the fact that one of the lawyers being paid by Trump's PAC, a lawyer by the name of Stanley Woodward Jr., who's representing one of Donald Trump's co-defendants, Waltine Nauta, Woodward also represents at least three other fact witnesses, three other material witnesses who may have testimony that would be harmful to Trump and Waltine Nauta, creating an unwaivable conflict of interest. So special counsel Jack Smith in a fairly routine manner, although it's not necessarily a routine situation that you have lawyers with these unwaivable conflicts that are being alleged here, but Jack Smith filed a Garcia motion and the response, though, from Judge Eileen Cannon was, oh, you know what I really want Walty Nauta to do? Walty Nauta and your lawyer, Stanley Woodward, please submit a brief to me, Judge Eileen Cannon, the corrupt Judge Eileen Cannon, about the propriety of special counsel Jack Smith. Um, and the Department of Justice presenting evidence against Donald Trump before a grand jury in Washington, D.C., while there are proceedings, criminal proceedings here in the Southern District of Florida for Trump's willful retention of national defense information, that Trump stole this national defense information and was showing it uh, to people as well. So here is the order issued by Judge Eileen Cannon where it's like, Judge, you're making the arguments for Trump and Walty now to like you're you're acting like you're their advocate when what you're saying is completely without a basis law. But 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 where is this even coming from? But he, here and that's what we asked. That's what we queried on the last video that we did. Here is what is stated in the order in paragraph four. Waltine Nauta shall file a response to the motion for Garcia hearing by August 17th, among other topics, 
as raised in the motion, the response shall address the legal propriety of using an out-of-district grand jury proceeding to continue to investigate and or seek post-indictment hearings on matters pertinent to the instant indicted matter in this district. The special counsel shall respond to the discussion in a reply in support of the motion do honor before August 22nd, 2023. The remaining defendant, she's referring to Donald Trump um, and Carlos de Oliveira, uh, may but are not required to file their own briefs related to the grand jury issue referenced herein, but any such briefs are due by August 17, 2023, and may be submitted in combined or individual fashion. Let's go to footnote one. And here, Judge Cannon says, this request for supplemental briefing is not intended to substitute and or limit any future motion brought pursuant to federal criminal procedure 12b. What's that? Federal Rule of Criminal Procedure 12b, among other things, is a motion to dismiss the indictment. So she's saying, hey, you should file a motion to dismiss this case, a motion to dismiss the indictment. By the way, just so you know, that would be appealable to the 11th Circuit Court of Appeal. But what she's also saying is submit a briefing on the propriety of this grand jury shenanigans. Well, where did we hear that before? And that's what I was saying. I was saying this is it's not following the law. It's unusual. But she like she's trying to help Trump's lawyers, like which is give asking them to, to to do things that they're not even asking for. But here's where it came from, and Andrew Weissman brilliantly pointed this out on Mark Levin here on Life, Liberty, and Levin. This is Trump's lawyer, Jim Trusty, ironically named Jim Trusty on Life, Liberty, and Levin, basically saying what was put in this order. 24 hours later. So Sunday, you had the Mark Levin show that Judge Eileen Cannon was obviously watching or likely watching. And then the next day, she includes those arguments in her order out of nowhere. Play the clip. It's a good point. I mean, look, you had a presiding judge in D.C. that had a case that suddenly became indicted in Florida. And I'm not saying that it was bad for the president that the case moved to Florida. But there's a lot of shenanigans in terms of grand jury usage. You know, you don't do a grand jury investigation for a year only to move it to another district unless there's more to the story. I'm concerned that some of those abusive behaviors we talked about played out in front of the grand jury in D.C. And so what Florida got was a much sanitized version of uh, what was presented over the course of a year in D.C. So, again, I'm not on the case. There, there'll be litigation, I assume, that relates to these issues of how the grand jury was used or, or abused. Uh, but it's certainly, a, 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 again, new territory when DOJ shifts an investigation at the last minute to an entirely different venue. And they would start an investigation in a grand jury in one place and move it to another which violates the rules of the Department of Justice. But there's a lot of reasons you can do that if you're really a sleazy prosecutor, including you feel you can get a better grand jury from your perspective in Washington, D.C. than in Florida. You're making a point, I'm reading between the lines here, that a lot of stuff took place in that grand jury in Washington, D.C., that the grand jury and the judge in Florida can't possibly know about. You talked about sanitizing that process. I assume some of that, I'm guessing, has to do with attorney-client privilege information and so forth. The reason I'm saying that is past people I have talked to that have faced this man, Smith, say that's exactly what he does. He pierces attorney-client privilege by hook or by crook, gets it in front of the grand jury. It's used in front of the grand jury. And now in this case, he's moved it to another grand jury. And so the grand jury in Florida and the judge in Florida don't know anything about it unless Trump's lawyers are good enough to raise it with them. Is that your point? Yeah, I think that's right. I, again, I think there's a lot to be looked into. Of course, the grand jury proceedings in general are one-sided, right? The old saying about the grand jury will indict a ham sandwich if, if a prosecutor asks them to. We understand that. We're not pretending that the grand jury should be like a full-blown trial. It's not. But when judges make historic decisions based on ex parte submissions, in other words, one-sided submissions that defense attorneys don't get to even challenge, 
uh, to make history. And then, by the way, to avoid all appeals by rushing the witnesses in the grand jury right after they get the friendly ruling. I mean, all of that smells rotten to me. And I think it's the type of stuff that will hopefully be brought to the attention of Judge Cannon or Judge Chutkin, depending on what the specific issue is in Florida or in D.C. So, folks, when, you know, you put in the comments, yeah, you know, you know, tr Trump's talking to her behind the scenes or the lawyers are, you know, my, my reflex is always like, ah, that, that's not what's happening. But I do think what is a possible scenario is that Trump has his lawyers go on Fox. They tell her through these types of messages what to do. And she's doing it here. It could be a coincidence. It could be a coincidence, okay? But you saw the video. You read the order. We read it together. Now you tell me what you think in the comments below. Check out MidasTouch.com as well for more breaking news coverage, the new homepage of the Midas Touch Network. And wherever audio podcasts are available, check us out. Um, wherever audio podcasts are available. <laughs> I'm Ben Mycellus. Have a great day. Hey Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.